What is up with it? This is your girl. Hey, no. This is your girl. Todd Jones. And you know I'm popping and all that. You know what I'm saying? I got my girl Ashley over here. Hey, yo. It's your girl. It's your girl. T. Lowry. <laughs> and I'm popping and all that. Nah, but anyway, y'all. If you haven't done it already... Subscribe to my YouTube for more of these podcasts. So we going live because we want to bring y'all some live shit. So you don't hear it from the next person. We want you to hear it from us. Us. Live and indirect. Straight giving it to you all the rest of my remainder of my life. You hear me? This is what we going to do right here. You going to listen to this podcast right you going to smoke one. You're going to agree with something. You're going to do your thing. You're going to sit back. You're going to listen to me get my hair twisted. You know, because we popping in all that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to listen to us talk about some bitches. You're going to listen to us talk about some bitch ass, firm down their ass, Debbie, baby daddy ass, nooks. You know, listen to us talking about how Chris Brown don't like black girls. You know, you know, hear us talking about how Lizzo's ass is fat. You know, hear us talking about all kinds of shit. But without further ado, this episode, this segment is about keeping it real. I hope everybody has a blessed day. From the bottom of my heart, even though half you motherfuckers don't know me and 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 envy me, I love y'all still. Because without you, haters, there would be no us. Right? Yep. You know, I got my dogs over here. I got Remy and I got my girl Tila and all that. And they just looking at me while they laying on their little comforter and stuff. Watching me get my hair twisted. While we was watching all that. You know what I'm saying? Because we popping it all that. You know what I'm saying? X. Facts, no cap appellation. You know what I'm saying? No cap back, no split backs, no backwards. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, enough with the bullshit. Let's get down to it. Now, if you haven't, do it now. Subscribe to my damn YouTube. I need subscribers. I need y'all to feel more people like us to get these fake motherfuckers off of YouTube doing these corny ass motherfucking pranks. It's gonna get a nigga hurt. You need to put some real people on YouTube so we can kick it like we're kicking it to you now. Facts. Yeah. With that being said, I'm your host, Ty, for this evening. And this is my girlfriend, Ashley, and she's Twisting my dreads and all that. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Anyway, let's get into it. So, you know, I be my my business and stuff. And I don't be saying nothing. So, I had a little issue where I was mad at my dad and stuff, you guys. I was mad at my dad and stuff. So, I made a little Facebook post talking about, you know, I wish I had a loving and caring family, you know, because I lost my mom three years ago. Next month will be her death day on the 5th, and that's five days before my brother's birthday. So, I've been going through some mental shit, you know what I'm saying? So, my dad pissed me off. I'm not going to get into how he pissed me off because, you know, we'll get further into that as it goes on. But I put, I wish I had a loving and caring family on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my family, some of my dad's side of the family must have felt some type of way. Because then I'm seeing people comment on it like, really? I said, uh, yes. Like, I'm about to sit there and lie. I mean, I said it. So what? And then I have my big cousin getting on to talk about, I don't know what's wrong with you because I, I love you and, and we love you just because it don't look like it. Family loves you. And so I had to hit him with that. Ah, stop, nigga, at the end of the day, I know who's been in my corner and I know who the fuck has it. And I said, I have two sides of my family, which is my mom's side and my dad's side. And basically neither one of y'all are shit. Just keeping it real. He was like, well, is you you going through something you want to talk about? I said, I don't need to talk to nobody. But at the end of the day, I know who's in my corner and I know who ain't. 
So with that being said, I'm not about to sit here and fake on Facebook. I'm not about to fucking fake on Facebook and be like, oh yeah, cuz I know y'all love me. No, in reality, you don't. Because at the end of the day, you see me posting shoes that I done designed from scratch. You see me posting uh, 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 clothes that we done designed ourselves. You can't even say thank you, but you're quick to share or like a post that has something to do with something. Oh, well, a dude fell on a sack of peanuts today. Oh, that's so funny. Forget my little cousin that, you know, came a long way and is lucky that she's even still alive to reach 31. That just, you know, had a rough life and she's getting herself together and all that. Let's just, just, just forget her. It's these peanuts, these peanuts are hilarious. No, 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 no. I don't think that shit's cool. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to fake shake none of that shit. You are a fake motherfucker, and that goes, family sometimes are your worst enemy, you guys, and you got to watch out for them. They may sit there, and and my mom said, what always, what always quacks when it wasn't a duck, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything that quacks ain't a duck, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, and that means that everybody that is in your corner is really not in your corner, you know? They can be devious. They, they, they could sit there and just prey on your downfall. You know how you guys be happy that either you got a promotion on your job or you got a new job or you got a job you really like, vice versa, you know. You, oh, well, you know, I'm happy and shit. And then you have, like, it feels like you have a, a rush of bad luck or something and that job don't work out or something. And you know where that comes from, you guys? I'm going to give you a second to think. Do you know where that comes from? It comes from envious people. Envious people that sitting there talking about you like, oh, I heard she had a new job or a job interview. Lord Jesus, please don't let this bitch get this job interview. She needs to just keep on struggling. Motherfuckers like that need Jesus. Motherfuckers like that don't need Jesus. They need to go to hell and meet Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't care how broke I am. You know what I'm saying? I love to see the next person make it. Like, I congratulate people on doing good. You know what I'm saying? Even if I was sitting there with a daughter, dollar, a daughter, a dollar literally in my pocket, I'd still be happy that you came up on a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not jealous. Oh, okay. I could lose all my money at a casino. You know what I'm saying? Giving it to people, letting them play and shit. And them win. And me not even ask them for the money that I gave them to win the shit. That's how humble I am. You know what I'm saying? That's how humble I am. But a lot of motherfuckers ain't like me. They would be like, oh, well, I gave you the $2 to get a jackpot. So that money's mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I cut it. Where's my cut? What do you mean, where's your cut? If you gave me the money and I won, that you gave me the money. It's up to me to want to give you something. You know what I'm saying? It's up to me to want to give you something. But at the end of the day, that's not how people work. That's how I was raised. I was raised to treat people how you want to be treated. I was raised to respect your elders. I was raised to respect people who respect you. But at the end of the day, my mom was also told us, don't punk down and be no bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't let a motherfucker think that they're going to get over on you and make you out, have you out here looking all like a fucking like fool. a dummy. Like a damn old fool. goof tree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Old goofy ass nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. You can't do that. Stop letting people run over on you. I don't care. I'm one of them people that, that have a nice heart, heart and I always get fucked over. But don't let people Fuck you over, bro. Like, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Uh-huh. I, I've regretted for the past shit, 30-something years of my life. I've regretted a lot of shit of helping people. You know what I'm saying? Helping people and letting yeah. them, them get away with stuff. Because at the end of the day, they started using me and then... I was the one looking stupid in the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was your motherfucking come up, and then you said, fuck me, when you started getting a little fame and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. that's how I feel about these motherfuckers around here. I'm from St. Joseph, Missouri, and if anybody's listening from St. Joe, Missouri, 
if I'm cool with you, you know I'm a cool motherfucker. But if you hate me, I hate you too. And you probably one of the motherfuckers that used me to get where you are today. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gonna tell nobody that I'm the motherfucker that you used to kick it with and do music and shit with and shit. You know what I'm saying? Why you out here acting like you a celebrity when you see me at the motherfucking mall and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm talking about my cousin. Talk about my cousin. Everybody know him. Black boy. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it to your face. Nigga, act brand new at the motherfucking mall. Act like you didn't know me. Wanna give me a handshake, nigga. You my cousin when we start giving handshakes. Nigga. Motherfuckers getting a little bit too big for your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit too big for your motherfucking self. You're going to need to take it down a couple notches. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the motherfucking day, nigga, I don't give a fuck. You can play that shit with everybody else. And, 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 and your little image that you got, I know you. You know what I'm saying? I know you outside of your image. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know the motherfuckers that don't like me as the motherfuckers that I know know for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even bougie to where I sit there and tell them motherfuckers secrets and have them looking stupid because that's how fucking humble I am. You know what I'm saying? But trust, believe if you did some shit like that to me, oh yes, all your motherfucking dirty laundry is about to be exploited. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your closet is full of skeletons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You down. That's like I say, don't let a motherfucker, you guys, make y'all feel like you ain't worth being on this earth. Like y'all ain't worth a dime. Like y'all can't make it and be millionaires. Because motherfuckers told me I wasn't going to amount to shit and I end up dying. But here I am, 31 years old, and I design my own shoes and make my own clothes. And you know what I'm saying? Got my own shit going on. My little shit going on. My YouTube and shit. You know what I'm saying? My up live, my you now, and Instagram and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it, hard work takes time. It's not going to come. Patience. It's not going to come quick, but if you keep doing, keep doing, and keep doing, and keep doing, y'all going to see results, man. That's all I said. I know my blessings coming from these podcasts and shit, y'all. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that's fooling me. There's a lot of people that's downloading me on Spreaker, and I appreciate it for all of you that listen to me on Spreaker. My 50-something downloads and 70, 80-something listens, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Ty. just don't think that I ain't appreciating it because I appreciate everything that anybody does. If y'all listen to us talk shit, I appreciate you. Yep. If y'all are downloading what we are talking about, that means y'all feeling us and I appreciate you. We, we are as cool you. as we sound and we promise. We vow to make a promise to all y'all. If we win, you win. You know what I'm saying? We're not like the other YouTubers and podcasters. If y'all help me make it, I'm going to make sure that y'all make it. I'm going to make sure that y'all ride in this journey with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm yep. not going to sit there and act like, oh, what well. What you mean by that? Is what I mean by that is meeting and greeting me. You know what I'm saying? Going to the casino with us. You know what I'm saying? Chilling with us. Going to a, a dinner family function with us. Like, man, we treat be like we be part of the family. We got our own little fam going on. You know what I'm saying? We're going to call it. We're going to call our little fam bam. You know what I'm saying? The A&T fam. Not about that. Right. A&T. So, are you going to tell them about this sauce? So, yeah. we made a little bit of sauce. You know, you know how B Love on YouTube. Shout out to B Love. You know how she got to B Love. Shout out to B Love. You know how she got her own little, you know, smackalacious, smackadocious sauce and stuff. So we had to go ahead and, you know, steal a little bit of ginger from her, steal a little bit of Coca Cola from her, but we made our own sauce. It's going to be called Bay Sauce. So be love. Don't be hating. We coming for you, girl. Yeah, we coming coming for for you. you. You're going to try our sauce versus your sauce. We you gonna try our sauce versus your sauce, and we gonna let let everybody decide. The A and T squad is where it's at. Yeah, cause we be cooking. Matter of fact, I said that the A and T squad is gonna be called Bay Squad. Bay you know squad. what I'm saying, Bay Squad. All my Bay Squad. You know, keep downloading this on Spreaker. 
call in, meet and greet, giveaways, 